It's good to get back on the court, and um, hopefully I can't wait tomorrow to have another day. How much has this time off helped you to rehab and rest? It's meant the last few days. No, it all it all helps. It helps everyone. Um, you know, it's it's a good and a bad thing. You know, everyone knows. You know, the good thing about it, obviously, you know, we have all the team. You're able to get some rest. You're able to get a lot of treatment. The bad thing about it is it takes you out of rhythm a little bit. And um, you got to play a team that's coming in, you know, off of winning a great series and then in rhythm. So um, it's always a good and always a bad thing. Is it a problem but being beat up? Or it's a bruise or a bruising series. Is there good and advantages and disadvantages to both sides? To everything in life. <laughs> how are you dealing with the injury you know, last year, helping you deal with this this year? Yeah, you just got to play through it. It's only parallels you can drive. So, whatever, whatever, this time of the year, you know, everyone's has something that they're dealing with. And, um, you know, no matter what I'm dealing with, you know, I knock on wood and thank God that I'm able to still get on the court and play. Um, you know, we, this game has lost, you know, great players so far, um, you know, in this um, postseason, you know, where they can't, they couldn't play. Um, so, no matter what it is, you know, your objective, and um, my objective is um, to be on the court to help my teammates in whatever capacity I can um, and go from there. LeBron says you guys have been off so long. It seems like you guys aren't even in the playoffs right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, you know, that's the challenge that we have to fight through. You know, it's, um, you know this team you know, has the finest challenges, um, and I think this is a good challenge, you know, to see how the time we play, to see how we can um, get right back into things and um, not take too long. Um, you know, we've been, LeBron's been in this position before. I've been in this position, maybe not the second round, but especially Eastern Conference Finals where we had a long layoff. And um, I think we both lost, you know, one of the first, I think the first game um, because the team come in with so much rhythm and you've been off. So, you know, we have to challenge ourselves to get right back into it when game time comes. I mean, we foam, they foam, everyone's foaming at the mouth to play, um, except for beat up on each other, you know, in practice. Um, so, so I'm sure everyone's looking forward to it. How do you prepare for your next opponent? I don't know who it is. Do you think of both teams? Do you visualize who, who you might guard or anything like that? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, we, we know it's the Eastern Conference. We know each other. Um, it's not going to be any surprises, you know, and whoever we play. I mean, we play those teams three, four times a year. And um, these individuals for a while, you know, is, um, so you kind of know what you get yourself into, no matter which team advance. Um, so it's not a big shock from that standpoint. Deep down, Score. you want Chicago. Chicago huh? Deep down, you want Chicago. You're a Chicago kid. Deep down, I want whoever win. So you square up, there's no doubt you'll play one game. No, I'm, I'm, I'm right now. I'm taking it day to day, and um, I'm not going to jump ahead of myself or think backwards. I'm thinking positive. Uh, today was my first day back on the basketball court, so uh, that was a good thing. And um, see how it is tomorrow. How much have you enjoyed watching these uh, playoff series this week? It's uh, this has been one of the most competitive first rounds, um, and very unpredictable um, that you've seen in a long time. Um, so it's great from the standpoint of being a fan of just not knowing what's going to happen. Um, you know the underdogs. You know obviously, you know being competitive. Um, and it's been it's been storylines. You know KC obviously took a big blow um, with losing um, Westbrook and. You know, they have to figure it out. You know, just like when we lost Chris Bosch last year, it took us two games to figure it out. And you have to figure it out. So um, it's interesting. It's interesting storylines, and it's good for fans that love watching the game. Um, I mean, you know, when you're dealing with something at the games, you always, you know, you're hoping it don't get any worse. You know, hope it don't get any more sore. But you know, with the injury that I deal with, just you just never know. You know, from day to day. So, uh, you know, you just got to get that in your mental. You know, it's in my mental now that no matter what, it's what I'm dealing with. And uh, you know, and just you know, trying to do what you can in between time. But when game time come, uh, hopefully you can get out there and be productive. How amazing are Miami fans with the whole white around the city, and then you come into the arena and it's white out. Well, it's it's amazing. I mean, since you know I've been here and. You know, I can't remember the exact year they started it, um, but you know, whenever our fans get into the theme, um, you know, black, whether it's blackout, whether it's a red zone, whether it's white hot, I mean, it's been it's been amazing, and it's been duplicated pretty well around the league, um, so it's a great thing. But um, you know, our fans, you know, are very just like us. Our fans are very hungry for another opportunity, another crack at it. So they come out, they support us. Um, you know, that's why we've been very dominant here at home in the regular season. Uh, we're very dominant because you know the fan support that we have.